Hi Virgo, welcome to your December love reading. I hope that you're doing well. I send you so much love and light. I'm excited to take a look and see what's coming in for you guys for your love life in December. So I'm just going to open myself up to spirit and let you guys know what comes through in your reading about your love life. It could be experiences, who's coming towards you, advice. I'll let you guys know. Just take from the reading what feels right to you, okay? If you're new here, my name is Lynn. This is Passion Heart Tarot. Thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you guys for returning. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, Virgo, let's jump right in. Let's see what your messages are about your love life this month. Okay, before we begin, just want to take a moment to the white light of the Holy Spirit. All right, let's see what's going on in December, you guys. Your Virgo energy is coming through Aquarius and Capricorn. Are you thinking of one of those signs involved with another Virgo? Or is that your moon or rising sign? Cross watchers here. You see these energies, you guys? The overall energy is the star in reverse. Four of wands in reverse. You know what's funny is I got a similar reading for Aquarius. Like all of these warnings to Aquarius about um, embracing the past. So I wonder if you guys are cross watchers here. Or is or are you involved with an Aquarius moon or rising sign? Uh, I just want to put that out there. In case you want to go and cross watch because I feel like your reading is similar. You're getting a lot of warnings, Virgo. It feels, it feels like if you embrace this person that I see coming toward you, you're gonna be disappointed. To put it, to put it point blank, period, to be very straightforward with you, you're you're setting yourself up for a disappointment. And I take no pleasure in telling you that. You're just getting a lot of warnings because these energies right here in the middle. The devil and the page of cups, that's not someone I'm going to tell you to embrace a connection with. Feels like there's definitely a history between you and them. A history of things being lopsided. Let me explain that to you because it just feels like one of, like, it just feels like when it came to this connection, were you always giving, 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 and this person was very needy? Like you were the giver and they were the taker? I can see them trying to flip that around. So it's not like they're not putting in effort because they are. I see if you resonate with that, that person, if you have those kind of issues with where you feel like they, they take more than they give. In December, they're really going to try and make it up to you. I feel like they come on really strong and you'll see this person putting in effort in ways that you've never seen them put in effort before. You could even say they're kind of love bombing you. They're pulling out all the stops, definitely. But I can see into this person's energy and I can see into their intentions. I'm not making excuses for this person, but for someone here, it just feels like they have their own set of issues that they haven't dealt with yet. And they do things because in a way they can't help it. This person could have certain vices, certain addictions, or even certain like mental health issues. So I don't want you to feel like I'm judging them because of that. Because I know for some of you here, like they just have these attachments um, that they haven't worked their way through yet. But then you also have to be careful because they bring that into your life. And if you already feel like the connection with this person has been very toxic at times, it's had its, its toxic moments, it's been difficult, it's been oppressive, or it's been controlling, you just feel like you've had a very difficult time with that person. 
that's the one who I'm picking up on in this reading because the, the, the devil energy is here. And that's the one that I can see is trying to put all of this effort in. Is it too little too late? Is it last ditch efforts? Only you'll know depending on what's gone on with you. I'm just not, you can't, you can't trust it because what this person is bringing to you, I feel like it's, a, it's like got its ulterior motives and it's just not something that you can rely on. It feels like they're trying to put in all the, the hard work that they can in a short period of time, but it doesn't create stability between you and this person. I feel like they can't really provide you with the, some of the things you might be looking for. And since I can see that, I feel like in December, you will see that for yourself as well. For some of you, it could come after a huge disappointment that you feel, feeling like this person totally let you down. And that's what pushes you into your own Virgo energy, the hermit energy where you turn inward to look for answers. You think about the connection as a whole. You're really connecting with your spirituality, your higher self. Even really connecting with your guides and uh, higher power for some of you here. Just li like really seeking those answers. And it feels like you get into that energy after a huge disappointment. Some of you already know what I'm talking about and you feel like this person could have already came in and disappointed you. And now you're in this space where you are keeping to yourself. You are taking a break. If if you're at all wondering if that was the right thing to do, absolutely it is the right thing to do. For others of you though, where I feel like you're getting a lot of warnings because these are like predictions for what could happen. For some of you, this hasn't happened yet. Um, for some of you, this person hasn't started putting in all of this effort that I can see them putting in. So know that they are going to. If you feel like it's been lopsided and then they owe you a lot, they're definitely going to be putting their best foot forward. I can even see this person mimicking some of the things that you did for them. They're going to turn around and do that for you as a way to show you like, look, that I'm trying to make it right. And, and it's like, oh, I kind of feel for the situation because I know that they are trying, but then I can also see what like what's inside and the kind of negativity that this person really brings into your life. And please don't think I'm trying to bash them when I say that, but I'm not going to tell you different when, when that's not what it, you know, I'm going to tell you what it is, Virgo, because this is a huge warning right here. It's a huge warning about um, feeling duped and deceived. It's a huge warning about even um, how this person could put you through so much that you end up feeling really bitter. Whoever it is that keeps trying to make things up to you so badly that maybe, you know, maybe messed it up in the first place. I feel like it's easier said than done. But honestly, if you could just let the past experiences you've had with this person really be that true prediction for you about what the future holds, you'll be much better off. But I can see you guys kind of getting pushed into these realizations. If you're not already there, you get pushed into these realizations about the truth about the connection, how it's something that has not lived up to your expectations, how you do deserve so much more. And maybe even um, because there's a part of me that sympathizes with this person if, for some of you here, because I see that there are really things that's out of their control. When I talk about like maybe even the mental health issues and I talk about like certain um, ties and attachments that they haven't severed. So since I see all of that and I can pick up on all of that, the Hermit energy is beautiful because I know that for some of you here, you will connect so much with your higher self 
and look at things from a different perspective. Look at the connection from a different perspective and you may find peace in that energy. Because see, what I what I can see about this person is, is just that. Well, there are some things that it's not okay, but you know, maybe they're not in a position where they know any different or can do any different. Maybe they are doing the best that they can, but still that's not where I want to be and that's not enough for me and I can accept that. See, I, I'm getting all these downloads for you guys. So since I'm getting all these downloads, I feel like you're going to see these things for yourself. So this could absolutely have to do with someone that you could be in separation from that is going to try and put in all of this effort towards you. And I feel like Spirit just wants you to know where that will actually lead. For others of you, it could have to do with someone that you are currently involved with now. And the connection could be in a place um, that has, you know, it's toxic moments. It's darker moments. That person is going to put in the effort that they've been talking about. You're going to see them actually doing things. But I still have to give the warning that it's it's not going. I give you the warning from a loving place. It feels like this person is setting you up to be really disappointed. That's what I can see. So it's like two different circumstances. Could be who you're involved with now or like um, a situation where it's no contact or this person is could be no contact for others of you. It could even be a newer connection, someone that you're giving chances to, giving a chance to make things right with you. Just really let the past indicate what the future holds for you. Because if you resonate with what I'm saying and you feel like it has been lopsided, you have been really disappointed, you have been really hurt. I feel like if you take another chance on this person, you're going to go through those same emotions all over again. Everything here is telling you to, to not take that risk. And I, I know that, you know, I don't want to hurt you with any messages that I'm giving to you, Virgo. You have to do what you feel is best for you. But I'm not going to lie to you about what the messages are. That's why I'm saying just take from it what you choose if you resonate with it. And then the thing about it is it's also so similar to Aquarius's reading. So I wonder if somewhere along the line is this like a Virgo-Aquarius connection? I can just see that this is not good for you. That's the thing about it. That's what the devil's energy is. This is not a connection where you'll thrive and flourish with that person. You thrive and flourish when you break those chains and you break free and you put things into perspective. See, some of you, I feel, have already gone through this and you're currently in that hermit energy. If you're currently in that hermit energy of looking deep within and thinking about thinking about everything that you've gone through everything you've gone through with this person you are on the right track and just continue to do you just continue to keep chilling the way that you are continue to keep um looking inside and feeling the the way that you are because you're on you're on track absolutely if you've already said no it it was the right thing so don't second guess yourself anymore if you have been. Only you will decide what is best for you. You know, you'll do what you feel is best for you. I can just see you coming back to this place though, Virgo, of, of being back in your own energy, the hermit energy. I feel like that's ultimately where you end up and that's not a bad place to be. The, the hermit energy, there's a lot of strength there because there's a certain wisdom that comes along with embracing that energy. It's closure that comes along with embrace, embracing that energy when you can really put things into perspective. For some of you, maybe you just need a, need a break and need to take a step back to see all of these things for yourself. 
before this person really has a chance to disappoint you in a major way. But that's where I see you ending up, Virgo, in a place where you're, you're really thinking things through. And like I said, there's a lot of wisdom and empowerment there. Just because this person treats you a certain way, right? Um, because I know for some of you, you feel like you're the one that put in all the effort before. You you want to you want to feel like they're serious about you. Like a lot of things have happened where I know you look back inside and you question whether or not you could have done things differently. You question why this person does the things that they do. Let me just say this for someone who is in that energy. How this person behaves and treats you is not a reflection of you. It's a reflection of what's going on inside them and their own internal struggles. So if you've been beating yourself up, I feel like Spirit Spirit is telling you, you know, please try to not do that because it's not a reflection of you. This person really does have their own issues that they need to deal with. Okay, Virgo, rather intense reading, definitely not what I expected to see, you know, all of these warnings, but remember where the messages come from, you guys, it is only a loving place intended to help, never to hurt, just take from it what you choose, okay, you guys, I hope that this was helpful for you, don't forget to leave a like on the video, don't forget to subscribe, I wish you guys all the best in your love life, in whatever connections you choose, Thank you for being here and I will see you in the next reading.